Hi there, today in this video we're going to talk about the mental math strategy called compensation. Now compensation I've seen referred to as a few, there's a few different variations. In this video I'm going to discuss compensation as it applies to subtracting numbers like 8, 9, 18, and 19. So basically what we're learning is how to adjust one of the numbers in a problem and then make up for that adjustment later on. So really more importantly than the name of this strategy is the idea behind this strategy. So please don't get hung up on um, having your students learn the names of the strategies. So let's see how compensation works. So 26 subtract nine. I'm just going to show this on the rec and rec. Um, you will want to make sure that you have concrete experiences for your students as they learn this strategy because they do need to see it in action rather than just have it explained in an abstract way like this. So here's 26. Now what do we know about 9? We know that 9 is really close to 10. So what we could start by doing in our heads is thinking about 26 subtract 10. Now that's a lot easier. We know that that's 16. However, we took away one too many because we were only supposed to take away nine, but we took away 10. So now we have to add that one back. So we had 16, we'll add that one back to make 17. So 26 subtract nine is 17. Let's try one more. Let's try 43 subtract eight. So we'll show our 43 on our rec and rec. 10 frames are another way that you could show this strategy in a concrete way. So there's 43. Now what do we know about eight? We know that eight is pretty close to 10. It's only two away from 10. So let's start by subtracting 10, which is easy to do in our heads. And we can see here on the rec and rec that 43 subtract 10 is 33. However, we were only supposed to take away eight and we took away 10. So we took away two too many. So now we have to add those two back. We had 33 and when we add those two back, we get 35. Okay, so this is how we can make an adjustment to one of the numbers to make it easier to work with and then we make up for that adjustment later on. We can also work with this strategy on a number line. So if you are following the CRA model, which I hope you are when you teach math, um, C stands for concrete. So the rec and rec that we just worked with, that is a fantastic concrete way to work with this strategy. 10 frames would be another wonderful way. Representational is when we're drawing models and the number line that I'm about to show you would fall into that category. Abstract is when we actually get to the numbers and the symbols. So for example, 53 subtract 18, that's abstract. So we don't want to start there. We wanna start with the concrete first and the representational. So let's show 53 subtract 18 on a number line. So we're going to start with 53. Now 18, what do we know about 18? it is pretty close to 20. So let's begin by subtracting 20, and that will take us to 33. However, we weren't supposed to take away 20, we took away two extras, didn't we? Two too many. So now we have to add those two back. So we'll just add the two, which gets us to 35. So 53 subtract 18 is 35. Okay, so this is a great representational way to show uh, exactly how we are thinking when we use the compensation strategy. So compensation naturally lends itself to subtracting numbers like eight, nine, 18, and 19, because these are close to friendly numbers, right? We can think about subtracting 10, or we can think about subtracting 20. Now the best part about teaching your students or helping them work with mental math strategies is that they transfer to other things as well. So if we work intensely with these numbers, when your students see something like, let 
this, they will recognize that 39 is close to 40 and they can use 40 or use what they know about 40 to solve this problem. So this is a wonderful strategy, but it's super important that we start out with concrete experiences first because we want to make these strategies as visual as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information on any other mental health strategies, please feel free to visit me over at my website, shellygrayteaching.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day.